morning, everybody. Matthew Smith here heading into daybreak just about 10 minutes before our show starts. A number of headlines that are going to be found this morning, including a big one. Uh, late last night, police did tell us that they made an arrest linked to the six-year-old Taylor Fentress that was shot in the face on her sixth birthday in North Omaha. Now, we are getting more details about what exactly this person did. We'll let you know who he is. He's not being arrested as the shooter, per se. He's actually being arrested as an accessory to a felony. We'll kind of explain what that means and what it could mean moving forward for the investigation. We'll have Katie Stuckey live out near the jail this morning telling you a little bit more on that. We've also got a crew out right now, a motorcycle accident that occurred in Bellevue uh, early this morning. We'll let you know the latest on that. We're just getting information about that. And then a biggie in the world of politics, Eric Cantor, uh, number two rated person in the House as far as the Republicans are concerned, ousted in the primaries against a newcomer from the Tea Party. Very interesting story here. We'll tell you what that means moving forward for the Republican Party. This is going to be a big one all day long. Of course, uh, as I walk in, I'm looking at some uh, baseball, which is fitting. A lot of people heading to Omaha. College World Series coming up. I know... Uh, you can see all the tents set up on the city cam shot over there. Oh. Getting more and more... I don't know people. how good my camera skills are. Can Yeah, they can see the city that's, shot there, right? Yeah, it's a little tough. <laughs> <laughs> more and more people filtering in. Uh, Weather-wise, going to be pretty good today, going into the 80s, sunshine. Not a lot to worry about. We've got to keep an eye out for storms after 10 o'clock tonight. Maybe the variety to keep you up or wake you up in the middle of the night. So I was just watching that uh, Oakland A's highlight. Oh, yeah. You know, we're... Fielder Jonas Cespedes gunned that guy down. That, that was the play. We were just talking about that in the, in the news meeting. I, I don't know how much news it was so much as we got a couple baseball fans on the shift. And we just <laughs> saw some Fallon highlights. Apparently there's a new Dumb and Dumber 2 trailer Oof. out there. So Not a lot of weather to talk about. That, <laughs> so. that does not include us, right? The Dumb no, and Dumber? No, no. We are free of that one. <laughs> That's uh, strictly Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. By the way, Jim Carrey, good speech he gave at a, a commencement address. If you find that online sometime, interesting minute there. Gotcha. So, I just add a little more than weather today. It's 85 and sunny. Enjoy. 85 and sunny, that means uh, Rusty gets to loosen up and tell us a little bit about Jim Carrey. And, and as you heard, Dumb and Dumber is not Rusty and I. So, we'll talk. You'll see a little bit of that on the Today Show, I guess. Hey, uh, we've got a lot of news heading your way. Two and a half hours from 4.30 until 7. Please tune in, and if you can't do it, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We've got lots of information going out there as well.